Hello and welcome to the FA Cup, where the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies are taking on Are You Kidding Me? Really? Really? Must we? By the way, in a stunning turn of events, it's raining in England, but because it's January, that rain is coming down in frozen form known as snow. Oh, well... It's the FA Cup, which means that you uh, can get paired against any team, whether they look at the little golden child. He's five years old, but he just he loves his country, um, which means that you can get paired against any team, including teams that maybe arguably shouldn't exist. Who were you? Who were you? Who were you when you were us? All right, I'm not going to sing for the whole time. They're not even worthy of our songs. It's the franchise, ladies and gentlemen. They would be our rivals if they were a legitimate football club which they aren't. Hold on, i got to tighten up my mic stand a little bit. I don't even know what to say about this. The FA Cup, historically our competition, although I don't think the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys have ever won it, but um, the Swinontown Swoodley Poopers won it a lot. But I believe that we can win this game. It's not going to be easy. Obviously, tensions are high. Uh, the excitement is palpable. We're not even starting our best team as a way of insulting the franchise. Um, uh, but yeah, there you go. So there are the franchise players. They've got a bunch of guys. Um, you know what they sing? Um, you know what they sing uh, when they play them in uh, real life, Meredith? They sing, you know who you are. You know who you are. You franchise bastard. You know who you are. Anyway, I'm not that, I'm not that angry. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's not like we want to destroy them with unnecessary slide tackle. Oh, that was a good one, though. That was a good one. K. St. Luce showing the franchise exactly what he thinks of it with a third-minute unnecessary slide tackle that I think communicates our rage and excitement about this game. All right, we've got to find a way to win this. We're not good in snow. We've been, we haven't been good. Uh, suddenly, the, 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 oh, the MK, you're not the Dons, off to a poor, uh, off to a pretty good start here. But um, I believe in the Wimbley Wombleys. I believe in our long-term, our long-term uh, goal here. You know, it's not, about, it's not about not giving up the first goal. We always give up. Seb Brown. That's right, Sebby. That's right, Seb. He was offside anyway, but I liked your, I liked your save. Finally, we're going to get a spell of possession here, hopefully. Put together a couple passes here in the 11th minute. Show the franchise a little tiki-taka. Show them how we play here in Wimbledon. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's the good stuff. No need for long balls. Why not? Oh, why didn't you pass to K-St. Luce? That was a big mistake. So, a um, uh, quick update on the club. We are in the middle of the January transfer window. So far, very few sales. Only Juan Moresco, 17-year-old Juan Moresco, AFC Wimbledon, um, graduate of the academy. Moving on uh, to a club in Portugal. He's excited about that because he, uh, he actually speaks Portuguese. Um, so, I'm happy for him, I guess. Uh, I, it, it was just time. He knew that it was time. We knew that it was time. Everybody felt the same. It was just, we are getting our butts played off right now. The White House just not house-like in that moment. And then, okay, there we go. Leonardo Mora giving up an unnecessary corner kick. Standard Wimbly Wombly defensive strategy. Uh, pass into the box and give up unnecessary corner kicks. The Wimbly Wombly story. Don't worry, we've got Dicko. No, he's not heavy. He's my Dicko. There we go. Oh, look at that break. Look at that break. Look at that break. Keep running, Dicko. Keep running, Dicko. Keep running, Dicko. Keep running, Dicko. Far post, Dicko. What the frick? What the frick? That was a beautiful... Dicko did everything right, Meredith. Dicko did everything right, and, I mean, there was 17 ways to play that ball, and it would have resulted in 16 Dicko goals, but instead we played it in the 17th way. That's just frustrating. And now Frankenstein again. Frankenstein again. Frankenstein again looking to Dicko! Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, man, I want this game so bad. There's only one thing in the world. There's really, I mean, obviously, you want to win every game that you play. But it's funny. You really want to win some games a lot more. And this is one of them. This is the last time. This may be the last time we ever play the franchise. Uh, because hopefully next season we'll be in the Premier League and they'll be in League 2. But, you know, you just you want to get it right. You want to get it right. It's been interesting to see. There was another um, uh, AFC Wimbledon drew the franchise again, this time in the John Stones paint trophy, the much heralded. Oh, gosh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh, God, I've been way Oh, That felt so good. And then a great ball to Frankenstein in the, mid in the midst of my sneeze. Oh, that's not bad. That's Deanie. No. Nope. 
and then the golden child's never going to get get to that ball. But look, you know what we have that they don't have? Hustle and heart. Um, that'd be a good name for an Oscar-winning movie. Oh, for the love of God. That's just poor, poor passing. Poor passing in midfield. And, and generally, I got to say, that was nice. That's nice from Frankenstein. You can, tell that, you can tell that Dr. Frankenstein wants this worse than anybody else on the pitch currently. And it's showing. Oh, do you go? Don't tell me he's offside. Don't tell me he's offside. Don't tell me he's offside. Dicko. I mean, by the most arguable of margins. I think that's a bad call from the linesman. I just think that's a mistake. It's unfortunate. Oh, that was a good unnecessary slide tackle. I liked everything about it. I like it when we play rough. That's the only way to play with these franchise jerks. I know that some of you guys don't like it when, I, when I'm so mean to the... Uh, um, uh, to the to the football club currently playing in Milton Keynes, but could be playing anywhere because it's oh my gosh, I almost gave up a goal out of nothing. Um, but you know what? Like uh, you've got to have you got to have a little rivalry and passion in this world. Um, I understand that some people. I understand there are lots of people from Milton Keynes who support their local club, and that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's totally fine. As long as you know that you stole the club, it doesn't belong to you. And it belongs to the people. Get it. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. That's beautiful. That made everything easy. Dicko! Get to the ball! Oh, it's in the net! It's in... What? What? Oh, God. Did he even touch it? He didn't touch it. He wasn't offside. Oh, God. Really? Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, frick. Oh, man. That's frustrating. K. St. Luce. Do we even have a song for K. St. Luce? Meredith, do you think of anything? He's the patron saint of lost crosses. Do, 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 do. I don't have anything. Um, yeah, he scores when he wants. Um, he usually just crosses, so he gets the assist. He got, he got, oh, why did you run out of bounds? Who are you? What is your name, sir? Is that Deeney? Have you been drinking? No, it's Callum Kennedy. He was, he was pulled out of bounds by his hideous hair. All right. Come on, boys. Okay. They, they passed out of bounds for a nice change of pace. There's Dicko. 16 goals in all league appearances. By the way, we've got the best 60th minute substitutions in the world in the form of John Green and John Green. So I've, got, I've still got a lot of hope that we could win this game. That's a nice ball. for. That's a nice ball. Oh, that's frustrating. And look, charging in there. Absolutely charging in is Dini, and then charging back in defense. He's a big, strong man. He may have partied last night, but he still knows how to play the game. Come on. Come on. Big cross. There. Pass. Yes. You know what? Just have a shot, Dicko. Mm, I liked it, though. I liked it because it was just a big, you know, it was just, it was Dicko-ish. You know what I mean? Like, he just, he saw it. He saw the opportunity, and he said, eh, might as well. All right, we're going to bring on a John Green. We might bring on another John Green later. And uh, we're going to take off the Golden Child. He's been struggling all game. There's no two ways about it. Uh, we're going to bring on Hell's Pels. Been impressed with Moe's Vestergaard, by the way. He's only 17 years old, you know. All right, we're, ma we're only making two substitutions at once because I'm very serious about winning this game, in case you can't tell. That's how you know, because I'm making two substitutions instead of th the usual three. Come on, boys. We can do this. Hell's Pels, he's got a great, he's got a great shot from outside the box. I absolutely believe that this game remains very winnable. That's a nice ball for John Green. Look at the, oh, I love the slide tackling, angry John Green. You know what, he may not be as young as he used to be, but he still knows how to get on the floor. Oh, it's beautiful, even when it's not effective. You know what it does, though? It intimidates our opponents, and then eventually they give up the ball because they're scared of us, because they say, who are these monsters who keep it up with the unnecessary slide tackles? Look at John Green, he's a big, strong man. That's a nice ball. Nope. Nope. Come on, guys. Come on. Focus. Focus. Everybody Everybody on the same page. 11 players all wanting the same thing. That's what this game is about. It's about shared vision, unity, and moments of brilliance. Okay. We can do this. I am absolutely, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm absolutely screaming on the sidelines. I am, I am wearing an overcoat, and I am a balding middle-aged man. And I am screaming my head off, saying, get the ball back. And then we did. And I didn't pass into the box because I'm better than I used to be. And then Dicko. Dicko? That's a terrible first touch. 
There's nice, nice. No, obviously to K St. Louis in that situation. Okay. I don't know how to I don't know what I'm doing wrong with the buttons that makes them not pass to K St. Louis when I clearly want to. That was to K St. Louis, but it wasn't a very accurate pass. All right, everybody stay calm. I, we've got Dicko and other John Green on the case. That should be enough, you would think. Not through the box. Don't pass through the box. Don't pass through the box, Green. Nice. Nice. Get yourself out of trouble. Very good. Yes. Yes. Dicko. Dicko! Oh! Inches away. You know who would have gotten there? I hate to say it, but he's got more energy. Ball John Green. No, it might be time. Might be time for some ball John Green. <laughs> no. I think it's actually time to replace. Wow, Leonardo Moore is suffering out there. I think it's actually time to replace. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a complicated substitution. I apologize in advance. Yabamba is going to go out onto the left. K. St. Luce is going to go into his natural position on the right side of midfield. And uh, we're going to go from there. I'm going to stay in your face. Stay in your face. Sorry, I'm really angry. This, is, this game is not a joke to me. I know that sometimes you guys feel like, oh, this is a performance or something. Like, I, I, this, I don't win this game. I am going to be, you, I am going to scream at the guys. You're, they have never, they've never been whipped like they're going to get whipped if they don't win this game. And I might mean that, ah, uh, I mean, I don't believe in physical punishment, but ah, uh, come on, guys. Yes, great, 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 great. Ball, John Green, other John Green. Dicko, off the post. Off the post. Off the post. Oh, God, everybody was so open. It was a really well-timed run, and then he got it onto his preferred left foot, and then off the post. Oh, that's frustrating. Rocker and Frankenstein are like, can you believe he hit the post? The whole freaking goal was open. Anyway, we're going to make our last substitution here. Yabamba for Frankenstein. Uh, 84th minute. Still nil-nil. I don't want to have to play these guys again. And if we don't win here, we're going to have to do a replay at the franchise's house, and that's not going to be fun for anybody. Uh, plus, I really don't want to lose because then we're out of the FA Cup and we lost to the franchise, so it's doubly annoying. This is a win-or-go-home tournament. We must win this game or win the replay. Um, and I'd rather win this game just to save everybody some effort. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. You can do it for your country, for your club that you love, for your club, Dicko. Oh, Dicko. It's, I mean, he's just he's exhausted. He's wearing the Wembley blue, but he just... Oh, so many unnecessary slide tackles. I just, it, there's no question that passion is playing a role in this performance right now. Dicko, Dicko, oh. Frustrating. Nil, nil. Oh, these guys are going to be yelled at in the locker room. Do not celebrate, do not celebrate a nil, nil draw at home, Wembley Wombly's, to the franchise that is nothing to be proud of. Best wishes.